Hello, how are you all? And my little, some new ones, some old ones. How is everyone doing? Yes. Are we all doing good? Are we all doing fantastic? Yes. Are we all doing wonderful? Yes, I'm doing wonderful because you know what keeps me wonderful? You all. So you all keeps me on my toes. I keep working for you. I keep finding more and more facts to bring to you so that, you know, you become your information box gets completely filled. And I am able to tell you so many things. And then you give me all good, correct answers and get lots of chocolate. Yes. Is the deal going good? Yes. So all the little kids out here are doing fine. Yes. We all are doing fine. Yes. All right. Brilliant. Okay. So, um, kids, before I start today's class, there's one question that I want to ask you. Okay. And yes, of course, it is related to today's class. Okay. It is related. So. This way of talking to each other. We all like talking. Yes, we all like talking to each other. Yes, because that is the only way we get to know about the other person. Yes, so we all love talking, right? So, now, um, do we like this form of talking wherein I am in front of you in the camera, right? You can see me through the camera. I can see you all through the camera. All. Do you like the face-to-face -face talking? Like, I am sitting in front of you. We can shake hands. We can do high five. What do you like more? Is it like the face-to-face? -face or is it like, like this? What do, we, what do we like more? Come on. Okay, let's, let's raise hands, okay? Those of you who like this way communication, like, you know, on camera, through webcam, through video conferences, how many of you like it this way? Okay, okay, some of you do. And how many would you like to, you know, meet people face to face, talk to them, shake hands, you know, do high fives and stuff? I'm of the second category. Yes, so many of you are of the second category. Wow, wonderful. All right. Yes. So kids, this talking that we do on laptops, on phones, through video calls or we do face-to-face -face talks, everything, everything, everything. What all is this? What all is this? This is our today's topic. Yes, this is our today's topic, which is, which is the different means of communication. Yes, kids, it's the different means of communication. What does communication means? Communication means, kids, to communicate means to talk. To deliver, to let the other person know what we want to tell. Yes. So, if I am talking to you all right now, I am doing what? I am communicating to each one of you. Yes. And if you people get back to me and talk to me, you all will communicate with me. Yes. So, what is the word it is called? Communication. Yes, it's called communication. So, is um, kids, is communication important? Can we all live without communication? Can we? Possibly not. Yes, because if we would not communicate to each other, will we be able to tell how we are feeling? Will we be able to tell to our parents we are hungry? Like, okay, just think about every basic thing. So what, whatever you do right from the morning when you wake up. What do you do when you wake up in the morning? The first thing. I am hungry. I should take bath. Mama, give me some food. Give me the breakfast. Yes. All right. Pack my bags, Mama. Drop me to the bus. Pick me back. Mama, please make me do my homework. Papa, take us for a drive. Yes, take us out. Let's go all and play. Then you all go out in your parks and play with your friends. And then you talk to them. You play with them. Right? You call your grandparents. You speak to them. What all is this? This all is communication, kids. Yes, this all is communication. So, our life would not have been complete without communication. Yes? Because until and unless we tell each other that what it is, until and unless we can talk, we cannot live. Practically, no. Yes? So, everybody, everybody has a different, different way of communicating to each other. Yes, kids? Now, for that matter, I would even 
say there are a lot of people kids who cannot speak yes there are a lot of people who cannot speak there are a lot of people who cannot hear right but they also have their own way of communication yes they use sign language so if they want to talk they'll be doing like this if they can't hear they will say like this yes but they also do communication yes so means of communication are very very important all right kids yes are we all good with this yes high five all right okay kids now when i talk to you about the means of communication kids uh there are practically okay if you all want to write you can write or just simply understand so you know there are practically uh two ways of communication okay one is called verbal communication and the other is called non verbal communication yes one is called verbal communication and the other is non verbal now what is verbal it verbal means when we are able to talk about our thoughts when we are able to speak like right now i am doing a verbal communication with you all yes we are right now doing a verbal communication yes so basically now verbal communication again is of two types either we speak which is oral communication or we write which is written communication yes so oral communication i'm talking to you face to face we talk on phone we talk on video calls lectures speech voice chats everything is oral communication okay and when i talk about written communication so for example i am writing letter to you right if i write a letter to you or if i do a email to you or we do those sending chats on whatsapp and everything yes we all do that your parents do they send messages that is a form of written communication yes when we don't speak but we write what we want to say yes all right so what we we learn we have two forms of communication verbal and non verbal and in verbal we have two major classification which is oral when we speak and written when we write all right now coming to non verbal simple so verbal meant when we use words right non verbal is when we talk through facial expressions drawings graphic designs colors pictures paintings yes so for example for example if i want to tell you that i'm very very scared okay but i i don't want to say it to you so how will i say yes you will be able to understand oh mom is very scared today yes she's trying to tell us that she is very very scared yes or for example if i want to tell you that i'm very happy okay how would i say it to you yes i didn't say a word but did i tell you that i'm very very happy yes so this is non verbal when we express through our face when we do uh um, you know sign languages when we use emotions when we make faces when we point fingers okay so all that is non verbal communication all right kids all right okay so we are good with that okay now before i move on kids i want to you know tell you this little um uh, think about how means of communication was in older times you know in older times when there was so now we will be studying about what are the different types of means of communication so we will be studying about postal communication telecommunication and mass communication postal is all about postcards writing letters and telecommunication is calling and mass communication is your internet yes television newspaper but before we go before we talk about that we need to see how people used to talk or communicate to each other when there was when there was no tv no radio how it used to happen do you all want to see yes do you all want to see how we used to you know um, communicate to each other how people used to communicate yes 
okay now let's see this small video and after that we are going to study the different types okay here you go are you all ready yes are you all stuck to your seats okay now see these kids okay here you go how we communicate we all love to talk but we can talk to someone standing next to us or nearby we can shout out a message to someone standing at a little distance from us in olden days pigeons were used as message carriers people as messengers would run for long distances to deliver messages from one person to another nowadays how do we talk to someone who is very far away how do we talk to someone who is in another city or country we can communicate or talk to someone by means of letters fax telephone mobile phone telegram internet these are all means of communication yes we can buy inland letters or aerograms letters we send outside the country from the local post office we need to put a stamp on envelopes before we post them we drop letters and envelopes into the letter or post box the postman takes these to the post office these letters are sorted out here before being sent to the addresses that are written on them don't forget to mention the pin code when you write the address a pin code makes it easier for the letter to reach the correct address the grams can be sent from the post office they are urgent messages or then we can send fax messages on a sheet of paper to some telephones which have this facility a telephone carries a message very fast we dial a number and get to speak to the person who picks up the receiver at the other end mobile or cellular cell phones are telephones which we carry with us wherever we go we can send emails and chat live with people due to the internet facility over a computer this is very fast and not very costly we can get to learn a lot about the world due to the world wide web www the computer has opened up the world to us we can reach out to many people all at the same time through the internet newspapers radio and television all right kids yes so did we all understand yes so practically everything that we use is a means of communication yes is a mean of communication is a mean of way to tell uh, people what is going on now just like we saw we will start with the postcards okay we will start with the postcards now kids what is exactly postcards i'm sure all of you must not have seen postcards okay how many of you have seen what are postcards come on everyone i want i want people to you know um raise their hands and tell me what do you mean or how many of you have seen postcards how many of you have seen postcards kids very few of you yes because in these days kids we don't use postcards we don't write letters and why don't we do that because we have phones with us we have video calls yes but in earlier times there were no video call facility there was no email facility kids so what we used to do people used to write letters kids yes people used to write letters i'll show you an example of what a letter look like i'll show you an example of what a postcard look like 
it was such a beautiful feeling kids that you know we used to be at our home and then the postman used to ring the bell and then we used to be so excited yay we got a letter from our grandmother and then we used to read people very frequently used to send uh, you know the postcards by because that was the only means through which we could actually get to know about the other person because making phone calls to different states and countries was very very expensive yes it was very very expensive it was only afforded by the very very rich people so the common men had to depend upon the letters now i'll show you what postcards look like what postcards look like kid okay you want to see what postcards look like yes yes this is what postcards look like now see this okay Okay, wait, I'll show you what a postcard looks like. Yeah, here we go. All right, kids, are we ready? Are we ready to see what a postcard looks like? Okay, now see this. Okay, here you go. See, this is what a postcard looks like, yes? So on one side, we see the postcard and the lines. Yes, so on those lines, we used to write the address, okay? And on the list side, we used to write like the content of what we want to write. Dear grandmother, how are you? I am doing fine. How is grandfather? How is everyone at home? Whatever you want to write. And on the back side also, we used to write on the postcards, okay? And then these were sent, okay? So these were like for writing very small information, like basic information. If you just want to ask about the well-being, etc. So we use these postcards, yes? And I'll show you an image of what inland letters used to look, look like. Now, these letters are, you know, they were like built-in letters. We just had to purchase this from the, uh, you know, post office and write uh, whatever content we wanted to inside. Everything was there. Like, everything the stamp is there on this inland letter. You don't have to do anything, okay? You just have to buy this, write the letter and give it back at the post office. Now, see what an inland letter looked like. This is what an inland letter looks like, kid. See this. Can you see? Yes. This is what an inland letter looks like. Now, uh, it's a little blur, but um, yeah. Now, can you see on this top? This is called the stamp. This is the stamp right on the top. And here on the lines, you write the address. In these boxes, you write the pin code. And on this, on this page and at the back side of this, you write the content of the letter. Then you fold it, paste it and send it. So these are called inland letters. These are what, these are the inland letters, what they look like, right kids? So are we clear about, uh, you know, the postal thing? So there were letters, right? There were inland letters, there were postcards. So this was the first means of communication, which have become really, really, uh, you know, um, I would say it is, it's, it's very, very non-existing right now. I guess people back in the villages probably do that. I mean, even though they don't do that because they all have access to the phone calls. Everybody today, is ha today has been access to the phone calls. Yes. All right. And now what is the second means of communication, kids? The second means of communication is a telecommunication. Mm, telecommunication. Now, with telecommunication, what was the first thing in the telecommunication? The telecommunication started with a telegram. It started with a telegram. Now, what is a telegram, kid? Telegram is like a letter only, but you could only write like two to three sentences in it and it was sent for a very, very urgent message. Like, you know, so for example, somebody had to say, Father Unwell, please come soon. That's it. That was the only thing that was written in a telegram. Or for example, marriage fixed in December, come on 12 December. That's it. So you only give the very, very urgent news, right? Now with that came the next thing, which was the, which was the telephone. Yes, kids, which is the telephone. Now I'll show you what initial telephones look like. You want to see? It? Yes, I'll show you what exactly you know, the old telephones look like. And they were very, very interesting and very, very beautiful, kids. I'm sure you're going to like it. Yes, are you all excited to see? Okay, now I'll show it to you. Now see this picture, kid. Oh, 
all right can you see this yes now this is what traditionally the telephones look like and these were with the very very rich people not everybody could afford these phones yes the you you had to pick it like this and then dial the number like this right and then you had to wait for the call to get connected and then you could talk and every call was very very expensive yes so this was the initial what telephone looked like and a little later a little later how did we all move to the telephone i have something to show you i have something to show you are you all excited all right then we moved on to what type of phones tada these are called landline phones kids these are called landline phones right and what was the benefit of these phones you could see the numbers these are called caller phones wherein you could see the number of who is calling right and you can save the data you can save the numbers now now these we don't have even these also because everybody has a mobile phone right so we don't have access to these phones anymore yes all right so this was the latest form of a landline that most of us now use yes so are we clear about what a telephone is and how it changed yes kids now talking about and then finally finally when we moved on from landline like from initial phone to this landline phone and then finally evolved what what evolved okay i'll not tell you i'll show you this in fact most of you will not would not have seen these version of the so called mobile phones also i'm telling you you would not have seen these okay but I, you would be very very excited in fact i'm sure most of your parents would be very very excited to you know see these version of the uh, uh phones i am i'm very i'm um, i am uh, in fact waiting for some of the parents to you know uh, tell me how they feel after seeing these uh, versions of the phones and everything that we are discussing yes yes parents are we all excited i'm sure you are you are more able to you know uh, relate to this can we see this yes so this long phone is the first kind of mobile phones that we had like really really long ones then came the second nokia one with with a little this uh, string you had to pull it to get the network then the third then the fourth then the fifth then the sixth and the seventh and now these what we have the touch screen phones kids yes nowadays what we have we have the touch screen phones yes we have the touch screen phone most of us have do that yes so this is how telephone has evolved from the basic landline to the phones that we have and now it is not at all expensive also yes and then the next category in this is the computers the internet yes computers and internet not they were also not like what we see in today's times kids yes they were very very different i'll show you do you want to see what the first computer looked like yes do you all want to see what the first computer looked like okay i have a very small picture but i would want to show it to you okay i would want to show it to you just wait now all right see these kids oh my god can you see this has any of us ever thought that this is what a computer looks like no we cannot imagine right we just cannot imagine now this is what a computer was at very 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 old times yes this is what a computer looked like yes isn't it crazy so these computers were built to find information about places eventually emails were developed you know then you could you could write emails to people you could talk on uh, you know uh, this thing uh, you could talk to people about you know uh, different things so this was the main reason why a computer was developed and then later later on we moved on to a complete different look of a computer which we usually see these days but these days we most of us have laptops yes most of us have laptops but we also have the desktops like you know uh, which are available like functional so now we have moved on to an altogether different uh, view of the uh computers we use laptops we use ipads yes we use ipads they all are the very very new methods of using the internet yes right all right so 
now we come to the other means now the next one is called the so we have done the what we have done two categories what were they postal communication telecommunication and the third is mass communication kids now we will talk about mass communication now what do you mean by mass communication kids mass means so many mass means so many so when we use one form of communication to reach out to lot of people that is a mass communication so right now what i am doing is mass communication because i am one person i'm talking to so many of you yes so you are all so many so this is mass communication so there are methods through which one single thing can be reached out to lot of people okay so that is called mass communication so what are the what are the examples of mass communication the best one is the best one is newspaper kid the best one is newspaper now why a newspaper so newspaper is one such thing which comes in every possible home how many of you get a newspaper every day at the morning every in the morning yes all of us all of us get the newspapers every day in the morning and we all read so what does a newspaper do this particular news which is there on the first page is read by me is read by all you out people there your parents your neighbors my neighbors everyone so imagine every morning all of us get to know this one particular thing yes so this one newspaper is reaching out to all of us so it's a method of mass communication yes okay now what is the second way of mass communication that is a radio it's a radio so radio kids is a, a way wherein you know in earlier times it, it, every little household had a radio so obviously there were old songs people used to listen to news on the radio right people used to listen to uh, you know news they used to wait that every 8 o'clock at night the news will come so they used to wait for the you know radio uh, the radio was like a mandatory thing in everyone's house okay and there was there were songs old songs so and even if there was suppose suppose there is some urgent information suppose there is some war that is happening so there was a major announcement that was made on the radio that now the war is happening everybody needs to be careful so that was one way of communication that used to reach to lot of people yes you want to see what a radio look like see this is what a radio transistor look like so you could adjust the different channels and these are the speakers through which the volume used to come the sound used to come yes this was the old form of a radio and it was there in every household kids yes every household i'm sure even some of you now also have a radio how many of you have radios yes ask your parents ask your parents mama papa do you have listened to radio have you listened to radio yes yes all right very good you know what i want you to do guys after this class i want you all people to talk to your parents and ask them what they used to do with the radios and the old computers and you know when they did not have all these means of communication yes will you do that and then there is another thing which is a way of uh, uh, mass communication and and a very very famous method that is the television yes after radio came the television again it was you know way different of how it used to look earlier but now television has become a very very important and a quick source of information because anything that happens comes on the news right away it is there right so we don't even have to wait for the news to come like hourly any time anything that happens that is on the that is on the television okay so i will also show you what an old television look like yes and i'm sure with you kids your parents are enjoying a lot this class because they know what all this look like yes parents yes you all can also recollect of what it look like okay kids see this with me wait yes see this is what an old television look like okay, has has any one of you seen this television yes 
my god some of you have wonderful wonderful yes the, this is what an old television look like kids right and now these days most of us have the flat screens yes most of us have the flat screen television yes okay so television again is a very very important source of giving information to a lot of people kids and what is the last in the mass communication it's the internet it's the internet what we are doing right now yes so we talk through you know uh, internet email website blogs a lot of information kids is circulated through the internet yes so now in current times internet has become one of the major sources of mass communication yes is it clear is everyone very very clear about the different means of communication and how it evolved from this to this yes all right my wonderful biggies so we are going to do a quick quick revision and you all are going to say it with me yes so we started with what is communication communication is the way we communicate the way we talk yes and what are the two types of communication basic verbal and non verbal in verbal what do we do in verbal we do two types of communication we do oral that is when we speak yes we talk and written when we write letters we write messages so that is oral and written yes and what do we do in the non verbal communication i'll show it to you yes i am showing to you with my facial expressions that i'm very very scared yes so when i talk to my facial expressions my drawing graphic design pictures paintings or i smile and i do winking yes and i point a finger and i talk in you know class students can you know do can you do you remember in your school when your teacher is teaching something and a child does a mischief what does what does the teacher do yes so that's a non verbal communication your teacher did not say anything but she still said don't make noise yes that's a non verbal communication okay and now we come to the main three types of communication what is it what is it kids postal communication telecommunication yes and and mass communication yes in postal what do we do kids in postal what do we do we do we write yes we write letters there were letters postcards inland letters telegrams yes we thought we wrote, we understood about how people used to write letters yes now then the second came which one it was the telecommunication telecommunication started with the telegrams like short short messages which had very very important information then we moved on to the phone landline phones then the landline phones also became very very better right and then from the landline we moved on to the mobile phones yes all right okay and that made our life very easy yes we can communicate and we can talk to anyone at any point of time and what is the best thing those who have relatives who are living in different countries like we are in india people are in uk usa australia singapore africa it just takes 2 minutes to communicate yes you just do a facetime or a video call and you're able to see your relatives right otherwise in old times we had to wait for like years for them to come and only then we could communicate yes kids so now these means of communication have made our life very very simple and what's the third category mass communication that is talking to a lot of people kids yes so basically transferring messages to lot of people and how is it that done first and foremost are newspaper kids and newspaper is a very very important mode of mass communication because it reaches out to a 
billion of population millions of people yes they have access to newspapers and it is very very cheap kids it's very very cheap that's why people most of the people have access to it yes then it was the radio yes it was radio radio is still used to communicate to people then came television yes television made it even simpler we don't have to wait for everything uh, to get published in the newspaper we get just get to know it all the time yes and last but not the least is the internet internet we just keep surfing on the phone all the time and we get to know what is going around in the world yes it just take 2 minutes for an information to spread yes all right my brilliant brilliant biggies here so are we all very very good and very very clear with the means of communication verbal non verbal and verbal oral and written then postal tele and mass communication yes are we all very very clear did we have fun yes did we have fun so what is a small exercise that we are all going to do today we are going to ask our parents and our grandparents about how they used to deal when there were no mobile phones and there was no computer when there was no televisions like this how they used to communicate they used to write letters how frequently did they used to write letters what about their experience with the radio yes we all are going to ask yes high five all right wonderful brilliant kids so before i end my class yes please take very 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 good care of yourself kids and your family members i know we all are at home because of corona virus situation but let's make the best use of these times study very very hard stay with your parents who are at home working from home help them help your mothers help your fathers yes and play with your grandparents play with your siblings yes and don't unnecessarily go out in case you really really have to please cover yourself with a mask don't touch things around and wash your hands sanitize your hands yes take very good care, care of yourself my dear kids yes and this too shall pass everything is going to be all right okay so i shall see you all very soon next again next class with another boom session yes all right so 1 2 3 boogie bye